everyone, Sophia here from my great challenge. Welcome back to my channel. This is going to be day 26 in my Vlogtober 2018 series. And you can tell from the big grin on my face that I'm super excited. I am finally getting to show you my Clever Fox planner. This video is just basically a tour of what the planner is all about and how I intend to use it and then I'll do another video on how I am going to set it up. The news of receiving a new planner and thank you Sophie, I like her already, I said that before. The email she sent me telling me she was going to um, forward me a planner just sparked a whole new motivation in me with regards to health and wellness goals and making some changes um, on body, mind and soul for the month of November and then if this works out well we're going to continue for December so I've issued a challenge to all of you you don't have to be on YouTube if you're on YouTube and you want to do it with me wonderful um, you don't have to get the planner per se but if you do the link is down below and you get a 20% off coupon code down there as well and the reason why I'm issuing this is because I thought that accountability is probably the one thing that keeps people motivated and continuing to work on their goals so these are going to be mini goals not ginormous goals we're going to use the smart uh, way of looking at goals and I'll talk about it in a second when she told me she was gonna send me a planner I'm telling you I just said this is it. This is what I needed. I needed something new to work on uh, To keep me on track to keep me accountable and why not share the challenge this wellness challenge with you and do it alongside of you if you want to do it with me so the plan is to post a video um, maybe more than once a week to let you know how I'm doing but definitely for the entire month of November I'm going to use this planner to track my progress and my goals so let me show you what this planner looks like we're gonna dive right into it I'm ready with my cup of tea and I'm super excited <laughs> Okay, so here we go, and I hope uh, you're going to be able to see this and it's not going to be angled too funky because I have to reverse the uh, footage um, when I'm editing. So this is the Clever Fox Planner. This is a weekly planner. There's also a daily. I'm going to give you um, little pointers here and there as to what would the difference be if you want a daily instead of a weekly. But when you receive it, basically it comes in this very sturdy keepsake box and the color of your planner is indicated with the color of the fox on the top of the box right here so very obviously Sophie sent to me the purple one which is great because that's my favorite color and by the way these little uh, boxes here whether it's the bottom part or the top part you can use them as um, drawer organizers and there's a famous organizer by the name of Con Mary who sells those for like $70 or so you gotta just put some scrapbooking paper at the bottom and you get the same thing but you get these for free they're really really nice and oops you don't want to see the reflection of the light um, sturdy so yep comes with this all right uh, I think I'm gonna have to put something right here so that you don't keep on seeing this right there so when you open the box and you receive your planner um, the first thing you're going to get is this how to use your planner and this is a two-sided um, mode d'emploi or uh, explanation on how to use it and I think this is absolutely wonderful there's a lot of planners who do that now they will show you how to use or you know their suggestion it's not necessarily etched in stone you can definitely do your own thing but it's a really good help if you are brand new to planning or goal making and you really don't know how to start you can use something like this and it will really help you so um, it tells you literally step one step two step three step four and step five and then an example of what a weekly layout would look like so I'm gonna zoom on this so you can see it a little bit better okay so this is an example of what a weekly layout would look like next you get a bunch of coupons these are coupons for 10% uh, off but again I get a 20% down below in the description box there's a cute card here that just basically thanks you for purchasing the clever fox planner and I just gotta tell you this is all quality heavy-duty 
card stock, you know, they, they don't have to do that, but they choose to, and I think it's wonderful. And right here, this is basically your little a feedback card. If you're happy and you want to give them stars, this is where you go. If you're not happy, this is where you contact them and lodge your complaint. Again, very, very nice um, quality card stock with the little logo in the back. If you are familiar with printing at all, um, the fact that this is printed in color on heavy cardstock just tells you like this money spent as a publisher to get this um, and those other cards. So there's a lot of things involved in the pricing. Now this particular planner, the Clever Fox Planner uh, Weekly is a little bit under $20 and then if you want the daily it would be $24 something. The difference, of course, is going to be in size. So this is the weekly, it's for 12 months. The daily is about this thick. It's a little bit bigger, but it's only for six months, obviously, because you get a page per day, right? So you're gonna get a half a year, and then you would have to repurchase another one. They give you a bunch of stickers. Um, there's this one for statistics. I guess this could be used for any which way you want. It could be to track your goals, like if you have a weight goal, for instance. Stickers for family. I probably need to give you a little close up on this, right? Um, this, I'm not sure what it is. So you have to figure out, it could be coworkers, friends, events, um, things like that. This is gifts, this is exercise, eating, and obviously this is for budgeting. We have the little heart here. I'm going to assume this is for relationship and this is for reading and then meditation yoga you know again body mind and spirit and you get three of those sheets um i haven't tested the stickers yet um uh, they're pretty thick and they seem to be sticking pretty good so you get three of those i don't know in the daily if you get the same amount you may get four of them instead uh, but for now this is what you get and they have this beautiful um rainbow colors in primary tones i guess very very nice and yes they are shiny stickers so here's the clever fox planner so it comes with an elastic band so you can um keep it closed in particular if you put documents in it um but sometimes you know i plan on putting extra stuff in it so you want to make sure that nothing falls off um so th this is pretty cool but if you don't want it to um get all sort of out of stretch which can happen you then would put it in the back right here so it's always nicely tucked in um, this little leaflet here you don't really need that obviously uh, by using the clever flux planner you can stay focused on your goal develop good habits feel happier increase productivity live a more fulfilling life and again this is monthly monthly review weekly review goals habit tracker you get a one year weekly planner layout affirmations gratitude and inspiration so it's a kind of like a um very comprehensive system you get a lot of planners out there if you go to michael's if you go to joanne's if you go to uh barnes and nobles or if you go to your regular office supplies you're going to see a lot of different planners not all of them offer this whole optic on goal setting and you know doing the affirmation and the gratitude the inspirations and all of that so i think this is a plus this i don't know how to describe it <laughs> i really don't this is a beautiful texture it almost feels like a perfect rubber but it's not um it has the clever fox oh you can see it better with the shadow right here um embossed right here you see that and yeah this is really really nice and the color is on both sides the spine seems to be very very sturdy and then in the back here you have a pen loop i don't know if you can see it uh right here and right over here you have a nice envelope that is expandable and you can probably see right here um this is kind of like a fabric like a very thick gros grain type ribbon so this is not going anywhere it seems to be very well made so if you want to you can put your stickers in there or anything else you would like to tuck in the back so if you have a lot of washi tape if you have cardstock little um 
you know, project life cards that you want to use, just put it all the way in here and it will be nicely tucked and you won't lose it. Okay, so let's start and look inside the planner. Beautiful paper. <laughs> You're going to see me do this a lot. This is very beautiful paper. This is 120 um, GSM, I think that's what they call it. So it's um, it's pretty thick. It's definitely thicker than the Final Facts. It's very similar to the quality paper you would get in the So Much Crafting um, paper. So high quality paper, definitely can't wait to try pens on it. First page, design in Europe, crafted with care in China on 100% recycled paper so that's good and right here is your basically your cover page again with the clever fox planner logo on it and if found this please be kind and return to and you can put your uh, information here and then your reward I you know I I don't know if people actually do that but you never know okay so this is uh, the first chapter I'm going to say in your planner and this one is my gratitude and self-awareness so when you start planning whether it's for the whole year or for me just a few months you're going to put all of your um, gratitudes right here and there's plenty of lines okay so it, you don't have to stop at three or four or five and you can split it in half if you want and if you have a small handwriting and do half here and half here so there's plenty of things to be grateful for so you can Put that in and I like that they start with the gratitude because it tells me that they want to focus on the positive. Um, you know, because if you start right away with goal, you know, lose 25 pounds, it's kind of morose, right? So you want to start with something that is very um, positive. It would be the gratitude. So you start with this, things you're grateful for. And then underneath here, it says, what am I passionate about? What brings me joy in life? So you can make a list here. And again, if there's a non not enough room for you, you can split it in half, write half here and wrap half there. You don't have to write full sentences either. Um, so let's see, what did they do here? Um, my gratitude, they have an example. You could say, my good health having a loving boyfriend who is supportive, uh, my family for accepting me for who I am. These are examples that they are giving you on their card. Uh, and then here's an example of what am I passionate about. It would be good friends. I'm passionate about um, having learning, personally and professionally learning. Um, another example of something you would be passionate about would be I am passionate about making a difference um, when I'm involved with a project or I can't read it, it's so small, <laughs> you probably can't read it either. But these are our example, right? And you don't have to use the context of work environment because it seems that's what they've done here a lot. To give you example, you can choose your family environment or you're just your personal life, whatever you want. Okay, this is your planner. On the other side here, we have my daily rituals. So these are skills to learn and habits to adopt this year. I really like this, really, really like this. And then my affirmation. So a good example of an affirmation, let me think about something, would be, um, I do the best with what I'm given, right? Uh, that would be a good affirmation. Another one would be, I'm going to use their examples here. Another one would be, I radiate beauty, charm, and grace. All right. <laughs> I like that one. So these are all the self-confidence positive things about yourself. You would put that in there. Okay. All right. Next chapter is my vision board. So this is where you're going to be creative. You can just uh, draw bubbles and fill them in. You can collage, you can paint, you can draw, you can doodle, sketch, whatever you want to do. This is their example of what a vision board would look like. So you see here they have um, a whole bunch of sayings and sentiments and they have obviously uh, some pictures that they've added so you can really get really really creative with it ultimately a vision board is a visual creative representation of where you want to be 
if you use this as a whole year planner within the year me it's gonna be just a couple of months so where do I want to do where do I want to be two months three months from now what is my main goal and what does it look like what is your goal going to represent if it's health um, you can put maybe a, a, a picture of somebody who represents health to you so it could be somebody running a marathon for instance or if it's a happiness you know if that's happiness is a puppy it'll just put a picture of a puppy but you get the idea right this is basically where your brain dump all of the ideas that come to mind and the visions when you start thinking about your goals okay and then here is the part where you start working on your goals so there's two sides my goals my goals and eight life areas the first one is health and again you have uh, three sections here if you want you can split it in two and have six business and career let me see if I can give you a little bit more of a zoom here business and career family and friends and then the last one at the bottom is significant others and romance and then on the other side would be finances personal development fun and recreation and then spiritual because that's very important people tend to forget about the spiritual part of us um and you know it keeps us grounded that's just the way i look at it and with that spirituality a lot of us just fall apart so this is where you start working your goals so you have a vision right this is where you at right now right here this is where you want to be kind of you know things that you want to learn and do this is what you envision how do you translate that into eight goals this is where you're going to add all of your little goals okay so an example if I'm doing this for only a month right in my finance section I could write in a safe four hundred dollars this month or um, no spend month or you know whatever your goal is for that targeted area over here you have your focus and again we have five goals not eight okay this is where you want to be for the whole period on all those areas but let's focus on just five okay so you're going to take some of the goals that are here the five most important so for instance for me it would be health um, business career personal development uh, finance and probably fun and recreation or spiritual i have to you know think about that so then you put them in there and what are your goals break it down okay so you take a big chunk of goals over here you break it down even more further into your focus these are the ones i'm going to focus on these are the goals i'm going to work on during the month of november and then the other months after that mind map let's break it down even further how do you take these goals and work them well the mind map is kind of like where is going to be where you're going to use your smart goals so what are smart goals um you take any of these goals right here so let's say your first goal is health right and you want a goal of losing 25 pounds well in order for you to break it down into something that's called a smart goal you want your goal to be um specific all right i want to lose weight during the month of november that's not specific i want to lose five pounds during the month of November that's specific so that's the S part of smart so you want it to be specific you want it to be measurable okay obviously we're gonna go on the scale so we can measure that um, you want to be achievable okay you want to be realistic if I was saying I want to lose 25 pounds during the month of November that's not a realistic goal okay so we have to really really break it down and then time bound meaning the 30 days for the month right so you're going to take your five goals here and you're going to break it break them down on this page into specific measurable achievable realistic and time bound objectives right boy I can talk um, okay 
So undated, what does it mean? It means that you can start any time you want. You can start in January, you can start in November, you can start on August 12th, or you can start on November 16th when you get to see this video. It doesn't matter. It's undated. So the week starts on Sunday. It's typical US. Um, if it was Europe, it would start on Monday. But it starts on Sunday. So you have a vertical plan right here. Um, Sunday... Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. And what you're going to do when you start filling in uh, your planner and setting it up, you're basically going to fill in those little bubbles right here with the number of the month. So November 1st, I believe, is going to be Thursday. So we're gonna put one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You get the idea, right? You fill in all of those days. On the left side here, you have habits to adopt, skills to learn, never too late to learn a skill. Hey, this month I learned to make rice, okay? And I showed Scott how to make rice last night, actually. Things to avoid, okay? Places to go and people to see. And at the bottom you have this month's goal. And right here on the left is the recap. This month's wins. Where did I actually succeed this month? What worked? And then over here is when something didn't work, what can I improve here for next month? So again, when you look at your planner, you have your whole month here. These are the things that you actually want to work on with your goals right here. And then right there at the bottom is the recap. And you get 12 of those. This is a 12 month planner because this is the weekly. So once you're done with all of your month planning, you're going to move into your... Um, weekly planning. So on the left side, you're going to put in the month and the year here. So for us, it's going to be November 2018. And then you have your Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then your Saturday and Sunday are split into half. Okay, so what's the difference between the daily and the weekly? This is the weekly. You have all of your goal work right here and then your week schedule. The daily would have this page here on this side and then on this side you have the main goals the priorities but right in between every page is a single day you would have your schedule from 6 p.m uh, from 6 a.m to 9 p.m okay so if you want to use your planner to actually plan your day with your appointments or whatever maybe you want to get the uh, um daily so what's on this side right here because that's really the one that's the most um relevant to the clever fox plan so you start with the top here this week main goal. I get to pick a goal for the week. The most important. Remember we picked five goals for the um you know for the year to focus on. So you can work on one of those objectives if you want to. And then you have a little uh, box here reward if achieved. I have to be honest, the reward system doesn't work for me. Um so I'm probably going to doodle or do something else here, but you know everybody has a different way of you know working their goals and then this week's priorities okay things that you must do procrastination busters would be in here for instance uh you have a little section here for notes and then you keep going down the page you have personal to-do list and then you have the habits and skills right here with every day of the week and a little bubble for you to um tick Right, so let's say, for instance, uh, one of the habits that I really want to um, work on for the month of November is going to bed at a decent hour. You may be um, thinking that I'm insane, but to be honest, guys, I don't go to bed until midnight. And most of the time, I don't fall asleep until 1230. So something um, reasonable for me would be 11 o'clock bedtime. And then I would just tick on Monday, I did it, did it on Tuesday, but messed up on Wednesday, messed up on Thursday, tick on Friday, definitely not happening on Saturday, and then maybe I tick on um, Sunday. So you do that with all the habits and the skills that you want to develop for um, that particular week. And the next week, you can have the exact same if you want to work an entire month worth of developing habits. And then at the bottom, the last two section is, again, this week's wins and what can I improve next week? 52 weeks with the exact same format.
but if it was the daily you would only have six months right remember so it goes like this and the paper I gotta tell you beautiful paper um, it goes like this up to well I marked it already here you go up to here and then you just get the dot paper let me see if I can show you so it's a very dark you see it it's very dark so you can definitely um, use it for lines or for drawing uh, if you need to graph anything like a weight loss um, graph right we're not going up hopefully going down you can use this it's very easy to use this kind of paper because it, it's you don't really have boundaries on it uh, so you can do whatever you want and you get quite a lot of pages like this and this is quite a lot so if you are a writer like me and you like to doodle and you like to collage and paste and and clip things this would be perfect because you do get quite a lot Okay, so that's it. The light is starting to disappear in my house. Um, it's 5.30, so I have to take Edward to band, um, and the lighting is kind of not so good. So this is the Claver Fox Weekly Planner. This is an A5 size, by the way. And I gotta tell you, I'm super excited about this. I think this makes sense to me. I love the fact that it's all black and white, so there's absolutely no distraction. If I want to bring in anything that would be um, added on this planner and add my own colors, it's not going to interfere with the planner itself. So that's the beauty about it. You're getting a lot of planners now that are kind of already pre-decorated for you, um, and sometimes they're not necessarily your taste and you end up having a whole bunch of fighting colors and, and concepts that just don't necessarily match. But this is so plain and simple and on that black and white gray scale um, that anything you bring in is gonna fit in the planner with regards to the overall look of it. So again, I'm issuing a challenge for those of you who are interested for the month of November to do a wellness challenge to focus on ourselves um, and getting better, making changes. It can be finances, I said mind, body and soul, but it could be a whole bunch of other things, okay? It could be weight loss, it could be exercise, it could be me time, it could be family time, it could be your finances, it could be taking care of your home, it could be all of those things as long as you feel that this is something you need to improve okay this is not to track something you're already good at <laughs> that's what i'm trying to tell you this is for you to track things you want to improve so if you want to participate in this challenge it's starting november 1st i will have a video how i'm setting it up i will have after that video updates on how i'm doing tracking my goals and my challenges and my new habits and all of the other stuff i haven't talked about yet with this planner so it's probably going to be a weekly video if you are a youtuber and you feel that this is something that's going to help you and not just because of content for your channel but also because you want to work on some things you can get this planner link is down below you can do your own videos as well i will create a playlist where you can upload your videos so i hope a lot of you will join and if you don't have a clever fox planner and you want to use your own planning system share that with us as well you don't have any obligation whatsoever to use this planner that's all i wanted to share with you for tonight i hope you enjoyed this video and my very long ongoing blabber because i can talk <laughs> you can tell right i can talk i love doing this kind of stuff i haven't done a planner video in so long and some of you have asked me uh, what planner am I currently using for my day-to-day? -day? Well, on November, I'm not going to be using that, but I'm using a Filofax Malden and I have the So Much Crafting um, inserts in them. Oh, you know what? Let me compare the quality of paper. Very similar. Matter of fact, this is... Uh, not as smooth but almost there so it's very similar to high quality laser paper okay um anyway so yeah i'm using this and you know i have um <clears throat> hold on since we're there right i might as well show you um okay so one of you probably recognizes this um you've sent me a beautiful card and 
I kept it. <laughs> so there you go. See, I told you when these homemade cards, I keep them. Uh, so I have a bunch of little, you know, things here. Uh, this is Grandma passed away. Uh, stamps. I have another um, little thing here. Little paper clip. My monthlies. Um, and then I have some other stuff here for habits and I didn't like them. These were, I believe, the recollection um, habit trackers. I just didn't like them. Uh, so I have, that's about it. And then the rest is just, um, you know, regular planning. I really toned down on um, the use of stickers and, and things like that because I, I get to a point where I think that they're very distracting. And then on this side I have um, a checkbook you wanted to see that. Um, I have my scent theories here with a novena and then a bunch of papers. That, that's the pocket that I really really like here. Um, so yeah, you guys wanted to see an update on the planner that I'm using and up to now and that's my Malden and I use it every day. So again there will be a playlist, you don't have to use this one but if you want to purchase this planner it comes in different colors. There's a turquoise, there's an orange, there's a black um, there's a hot pink and of course there's the purple and you can get it either daily or weekly and again this is the weekly planner so check the links down below and the coupon code for 20% off. I hope you enjoyed this video, I hope you're looking forward to the challenge, I hope you're looking forward to watching me working my personal goals um, during the month of November and I will see you later for the next video when I set up the planner. Thank you for watching you guys, bye!